Getting breast implants while you're younger comes with perks, but now you might be thinking about having a child and wondering whether you can breastfeed with implants. Dr. Michael Kim is here today to explain. Good morning, Dr. Kim. Good morning, thanks. A lot of people are getting breast implants. Is, is it the most popular uh, plastic yeah, surgery? Yeah, year to year, it's about the top, one of the top two procedures done in the country. Over 300,000 breast implants are done a year. Wow. Right. Which, of course, then leads to a lot of these women later in life wanting to have children, and are there problems with that? Well, you know, there's some research done about breastfeeding and breast implants, and so for the majority of the part, um, I don't know if you have any slides up, but the two major factors of whether you can breastfeed after implants are the type of surgery you have. So if you plan on wanting to have um, breastfeed after breast implants, it's important to talk about incisions. So these are all the different incisions under the breast, around the nipple, and the armpit. But the around the nipple incision does divide the breast ducts from the nipple. So most people recommend if you're going to want to breastfeed after implants, try to avoid that incision and go under the breast or the armpit. And so that's one of the ways to ensure that you can breastfeed. Um, studies did show that um, the levels of silicone in breast milk after silicone breast implants is actually lower than the milk we buy in the store. Really? Because of all the silicone tubing you know, from the breast milk from the, ca I mean the cows. So um, it's, it's shown that the levels are very safe. So there isn't a concern about uh, perhaps any leakage or anything like that and then affecting your baby? Correct, correct. And so the second point is that if you feel like breast implants, after you have them, if you breastfeed, it's going to alter your breasts and make them look ugly. It's going to decrease your chance of breastfeeding. So they did one psychological study showing that if pa uh, patients felt that they knew that breast, after breastfeeding your breasts would be okay, they were able to breastfeed, but if they thought that breastfeeding would alter their breasts and make them look ugly, they weren't able to breastfeed, so psychological yeah. impact is very important. So it's important for the public to know that the most important factor of, of your breast changing or looking, quote, ugly is not breastfeeding, but it is the number of pregnancies. Okay. So the more pregnancies you have, the more likely the breasts are going to sag and look ugly, not the fact that you breastfeed. So it's the actual pregnancy itself, not the act of. Correct. So it's very safe. Number one, it's very safe to breastfeed with silicone breast implants. Number two, breastfeeding is not going to alter the shape of your implants. So you don't have to worry once you have implants whether or not breastfeeding is going to make your breasts look uglier. Is there any concern about pain or swelling? Obviously that tends to happen when you are breastfeeding if you do have those implants. Um, mastitis can happen whether you have implants or not, but it doesn't seem to alter the shape or um, result of your breast implants. Okay, so not a concern. Yes, right. and it's very important also to go to a board-certified plastic surgeon to talk about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is there any difference in, in which incision, whether under the armpit or underneath the breast, you would recommend? I think for the silicone implants, under the breast is probably the best incision for patients who want to uh, breastfeed down the road because it really doesn't alter the uh, it, um, breast feeding because it doesn't cut the breast ducts. All right, Dr. Kim, thank you so much as always. We appreciate it. Sure. And you are watching Week News this morning. We're going to be right back with a check of your weather and traffic and a look at this morning's top stories.